<laughs> this is an awesome day. Phenomenal weather. The setting is absolutely incredible. And Rachel, you look stunning. You do. Joel, you look stunned. Uh, you do. <laughs> but it's so good to be here with you and to be able to witness your pledges to each other. But as good as all this is, don't be confused. This is a wedding, not a marriage. What makes a marriage is what happens next. What makes a marriage is what happens tomorrow and the next day and next week and next month and the years to come. If you don't think God has a plan for you, let me tell you, all you gotta do is be open to it. If you're stubborn, you do your own thing. But if you just listen every now and then, He'll put you right where you're supposed to be. And right here today is where we're supposed to be. Oh my gosh. You're absolutely beautiful, sweet. You're absolutely beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very sweet. I love your dress. Let me. Oh my word. That's perfect. <laughs> you did such a perfect job. Thank you. In John chapter 15, verse 12, Jesus said, My command is this, love each other just as I have loved you. Now, how much did he love us? enough to go to the cross for us, to die for us. Now, hopefully you'll never be in a situation where you're asked to give of your life to the other. But every single day in your marriage, you're asked to give of yourself to the other. Marriage is not a piece of paper, it's a gift. Joel, today you're giving yourself as a gift to Rachel. Rachel, today you're giving yourself as a gift to Joel. Every single day from here on out, you're to give of yourselves to the other. That's marriage. I, Joel. I, Joel. Take you, Rachel. Take you, Rachel. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have, to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as I have breath. As long as I have breath. As long as I have breath. By virtue, the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Christ and according to the laws of God in the sovereign state of Missouri, I very happily pronounce you husband and wife. Joel, you can kiss your wife. Joel has gone the extra mile to love Rachel in a way I could only pray and dream for someone who is like a sister. When Joel decided it was time to propose to Rachel, he flew me out to St. Louis so I could be there for you too. And that was when I realized Joel has always understood how to love Rachel the way she needs to be loved. It has been an honor watching you fall head over heels for my best friend. I wish you both years of happiness as the two of you continue to grow and learn in this marriage. And I'm so honored to be here to celebrate the both of you. I wish you nothing but happiness, success, and more adventures. It's easy being married and it's hard as hell being married, but it's all good. So just listen to each other, don't get too bullheaded. Just love each other. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Well, I know the two of you want to spend the rest of your lives together, and you don't have to wait any longer. Now, officially, you can begin. It's my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joel and Rachel Holloman.